Pepper spray or bear spray? What's the better option for self-defense? Stay tuned, we'll discuss that in this video. Hey, it's Ulrich from Stun and Run Self-Defense, the place where we help prevent crime and save lives by giving you the tools and education you need to stay safe from harm. We all know about bear spray. We've seen it used by store owners to ward off criminals and of course bears. But is it effective for self-defense compared to regular pepper spray? Let's break it down. For one, bear spray has a weaker formulation than pepper spray designed specifically for humans. So don't expect the same type of takedown power. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, regulates the oleoresin content that can go into animal repellent. Unlike humans, bears, dogs, and other animals have a much higher sense of smell. So a high OC concentration isn't necessary to stop them. Bear spray is designed to ward off bears, not cripple them. Might scare off a human or cause some pain, but it won't incapacitate them in the same way that regular pepper spray will. Form factor is also an issue. Bear spray comes in these huge 16 ounce canister sizes, which is not something you can easily carry around. Regular pepper spray comes in much smaller sizes, such as a half ounce, three fourth ounce, two ounce, four ounce cans for greater concealability and greater access, including wearable units such as the Little Viper pepper spray bracelet. Another point is that bear spray only comes in a fog pattern. If you have concerns about blowback, this isn't the one you want. Regular pepper spray comes in a stream, foam, and gel formats for better target acquisition and minimize cross-contamination. Lastly, there is of course always the possibility of getting sued for misuse of the product, such as using it on a human instead of a bear as it was designed and intended for. Folks who live in other countries, like our Canadian neighbors, for us here in Minnesota, where pepper spray is outright banned, those who attempt to circumvent the law by using bear spray for self-defense are liable to be criminally prosecuted. So keep that in mind. This sort of thing tends to happen in heavy-handed states like Massachusetts, New York, and California as well. So there's a lot to consider here. This isn't legal advice, but I would personally not recommend using bear spray for self-defense unless you absolutely cannot get a hold of a can of regular pepper spray. The cons outweigh the pros, it's just not the best options. And that wraps things up. Have any questions or thoughts? Shoot us an email at sales at srselfdefense.com and we'd be happy to help you out. If you like this video, please hit that bell notification button and subscribe so you're kept up to date on all the new content we produce. We really appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.